Hi guys, it's Craig here from the Navcoin dev team and I'm here today to give you a quick demo of the new anonymous system and how it works. The first thing I want to show you is how to configure your Navcoin wallet to send anonymous transactions. Open up your navcoin.conf file. Hopefully you're familiar with this file by now. We've got a guide on the website that shows you how to find this file and to use it to configure your Navcoin wallet for optimum network connectivity. In this file, you'll see a new config line I've added, add and on server, followed by an IP address and a port number. This is where you instruct your wallet which Anon transaction servers you want to use. You can add multiple Anon servers to this file, and when we launch the service publicly, we will be offering a range of servers for you to add. The reason why we add multiple servers is for redundancy. If the wallet is unable to communicate with an anonymous server which it randomly selected from your comp file, it will pick another one until it finds a server which is online and able to transact. This is one of the major changes we've made in the new system and it prepares us for the upcoming decentralization. Under the old system, your wallet would query our API which would return a list of addresses of available servers. Now instead, this is configured directly on your computer which removes the API as a single point of failure. It also means that when we decentralize the service, if you want to use a different set of servers other than the default ones we provide, you can do that right here with one line of config. Now that the navcoin.conf file is set up with the addresses of the anonymous servers which you want to use, that's it. You're ready to start sending anonymous transactions. For this demo, I'll be sending the coins anonymously to myself so we can see the coins return. I'm going to copy the address that I want to send the coins to, then switch to the sending tab and set up the transaction. So I'll paste in the recipient's address, I'll type in the amount that I want to send, I'll tick the send nav anonymously box and press the send button. The wallet then talks directly to the anonymous server that we previously configured and it confirms the server's anonymous transaction processing fee with me. I accept and continue to commit the transaction to the blockchain. If we switch to the transactions tab, we'll see that it's been sent, but it hasn't been sent to the address that I specified. In fact, it's been sent to a random address provided by the selected anonymous server. If we look at the transaction details, We will see that anonymous destination field has been filled out with the recipient's address, which has been encrypted with the 2048-bit public key provided by the selected anonymous server. Now I'll show you a little bit of how it works under the hood. If we take a look at the incoming anonymous server, we should see the transaction appear here and be processed. The transaction cycle runs every two minutes and it has to hit reach a minimum amount of confirmations before it will be processed. So let's just wait and watch this happen. Alright, so as we can see, success, we've successfully processed the current batch. Now the status report shows that it sent a subchain transaction to the outgoing server, which will have the recipient's address re-encrypted and attached. It's also randomized and forwarded the navcoin to the outgoing server to replenish its navcoin pool. If we switch to looking at the outgoing server, When it receives the subchain transaction, it will decrypt the attached data and send out randomized navcoin transactions to the intended recipient. It can take a few transaction cycles for the subchain transaction to pass the minimum confirmations required to be processed, but once it does, we should see the server process the transaction and randomized nav appear back in our wallet. So let's wait for this to happen. All right, and there we have it. The transactions are now processing.
and success. We've processed the current batch. If we go back to our wallet now, we can see the random transactions arriving back in our wallet. These will add up to the original amount sent minus the anonymous server processing fee and the required network fees to send the transactions. And that's all there is to it. Anonymous nav coins sent and received in under 10 minutes through the subchain. I hope you've enjoyed the demo.